I love DIY projects and sometimes it would be nice to create in a more social setting and not at home. That's where the latest bar in Sarasota comes in. It's called the Craft Bar and the owner Yvonne Scheller and Wendy Mason are here to tell us all about it. All right, ladies, tell me why you created the craft bar. Because when I think of craft bar, I think of craft cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, we were kind of having some craft cocktails <laughs> when we came up with the idea. We were. <laughs> um, we were sitting at a bar, drinking a couple cocktails, and dreaming about the perfect job, what our mm -hmm. perfect vision was. And we had the same vision. It was sitting around in a bar-type atmosphere with friends and creating. And yeah. just laughing and having fun. Yeah, it's creating an I environment where that. people can come in and have a good time and forget what everything, you know, whatever's going on outside those doors. That's right? wonderful. And in the process of that, you guys are creating all types of things. So tell us about some of the projects that you guys make. Uh, we make all sorts of projects. Even some of um, the things that we sell, we make ourselves. But if you can see down below, there's um, some burlap pumpkins. Um, there are just a lot anything, of things. Huh? We do anything <laughs> that people want to create. We are actually really good at doing that kind of stuff. So if you don't know how to do it, <laughs> we'll figure it out for you. So if we had an idea, if you, you had an idea, you could even bring it in and you'd oh, make it happen. Everybody has yeah. something saved from Pinterest Absolutely. that they've been yeah. wanting to do. And yes. you know, you bring us the idea, we'll get all the supplies, we'll figure out how to do it. We will fail first, even if we have to throw <laughs> it in the love trash. It. We throw many things and, in the trash. And many then things in the trash. There are epic fails. Well, speaking of epic fails, I hope this is not one. <laughs> yes. Tell us about the project we're going to be making today. Okay. Today we are going to be taking a simple, regular wine glass uh -huh. and turning it, turning it into um, a holiday candle holder. Which is oh, cute. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I like All right. that. And so tell us what Sheba should do first. Yes. Okay, so we already started back at the craft bar and okay. did the very first step for you. Um, all the glasses need two coats of okay. acrylic paint. So we gave you the first coat already. Mm -hmm. um, so now you're just going to add another coat, okay? okay. And you want to paint in downward motion so you get that same feel of a pumpkin, Got the it. lines of a pumpkin. Oh, okay. So something okay. like this? Yep, just okay. like that. My daughter would good. love this. She's going to be so proud of you. Oh, she will. If I don't have a cocktail, well, and I do this with her. You don't want to drink out of these oh, glasses. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah. That's right, darn it. You you know. purple, you'll have green and orange lips. Right. Right. I do have a cocktail question, just because, you know, we're going to call it a bar here. Right, right, right. May we bring cocktails or Absolutely. wine or something like that? Mm. Okay. We are 100% for BYOB, whether okay. it is an adult beverage or a kid's birthday party and you're bringing a juice box. What a great oh, idea. Okay, okay good. All right, so what Linda can has I the do? next step. What, what okay, Linda doing? has the hardest step. Oh, she, of course. <laughs> she is going to um, add some highlights to the pumpkin so it doesn't just look like an orange glass. Okay. okay. You can see our sample here, how we've got a little bit of orange and brown, brown in there. So I take this one and do brown? Just give a little bit of, little dip in there. Oh, I'm so nervous. Don't. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> and just, oh, whoosh, a quick line. Yep, perfect. Everybody and then around a little bit. Yeah. Oh, wow. And she's so got the sound not, effect. So there's not one exam, no. exact thing that you can do. No, there's no science really to it, like specific science. Perfect. It's just kind of your creative nature to run the brush down the bottle. All right. Okay. Well, Wendy, okay. what's, now we're what's add the third some step? Orange. Um, the third I mean, step, actually, Bob, you have the easiest step of all. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to take the glass. And then you're just going to take your paintbrush. This is what we have. We have um, a Mod Podge, which is a sealer. Uh -huh. And you're really just going to seal the entire glass. Oh, okay. With one so coat this, of Mod Podge. And with the sealing, does this mean I can put it in the dishwasher or that's still excessive? Um, I would not put this one in the dishwasher <laughs> unless you have the dishwasher safe Mod Podge, which uh -huh. they do sell. So, okay. But this particular one is not. This is actually a gloss Mod Podge. You can get it in gloss or matte. So we went with a glossy finish. Okay. So this just protects it, especially if you decide you want to put it outside. Okay. And then as I put this together, Stephanie has the last step. What is she yeah. going to do? She's going to embellish. Oh, she's going to I've embellish with her up. little hoo haws. I'm going to put my little hoo ha <laughs> down here, though. <laughs> do I have a hoo ha? Oh, no. no. Oh, my goodness, who's got a hoo ha? What is happening? <laughs> I love Think this. Of hoo -ha. <laughs> that's a, that's a whatchamacallit. Yeah, what yeah. Yeah. Or a doohickey. Mm -hmm. And a do we have lots of hoo diggers, too. Yeah. Yeah. Hoo digger. Right. Well, you have a lots of other stuff that you, some projects that you guys have. Describe some of the ones that are on the floor for me. Because I, I heard about some glasses that I can't see right now. That I heard are really nice. The, the wine glass? Yeah, the, the, no, mason, the mason jars. jars. Oh. So we have some of our fall crafts down here. Uh -huh. um, stuff that's going to be coming up 
for October and November. Okay. Um, we have our fall mason jars, and there's hand painted oh, wine bottles that. Um, one looks like a pumpkin again, very similar to what you're doing. We mm -hmm. also have a um, Be Thankful uh, table runner, mm -hmm. and we yeah. have some adorable little um, burlap pumpkins. Mm -hmm. So we try to keep our open bars to more seasonal things. And I'm going to go into, de I want us to go into detail about that in just a moment, but before that, I want to check in with Linda. Well, she's doing, doing great. <laughs> okay, I'm doing orange because this is like an eraser. If yeah. I got my line, too, she told me if I got my line too fat, I could change it. How'd I do? I think you, you did great. Good, Linda. I so think it looks great. fantastic. I'm so proud. I'm proud of you. <laughs> 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 we don't have any crafting ability. <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that says that. Are you well, doing early? okay over there? I'm okay. Oh, okay. She's oh. got the dangerous one. I know, she, she does. Well, earlier you guys mentioned open bar. What is the difference between your open bar and your private bar? Mm. So our open bars are pre-scheduled bars, or it's a class, mm -hmm. a pre-scheduled class with a pre-scheduled craft. Oh, okay. We have one scheduled um, each day of the week. And then, so that's a great opportunity if you just have one or two people um, and you want to go and be creative. Okay. Now our private bars, that's where the fun really is at. Okay. Um, if you have a group of six or more people, you can pick your time, Pick your craft mm -hmm. and pick your people. Okay. And don't forget to pick your bottle of wine. Yes. I like it. Oh, so absolutely. private bars are great for like bachelorette parties, mm -hmm. birthday parties, and we even do kids' birthday parties. And you, so you do kids' concept. bar, kids' craft bar. We do yes. have a kids' They're craft crafty. bar. Yes. Oh, They're crafty good. Kids. All right. Well, I love the concept. The craft bar is on Pineapple Avenue in downtown Sarasota, and you can also find them on their website, thecraftbar.org. And we're going to keep working because when we get involved, we just can't stop. <laughs> but when we come back, Venice Theater is here with a preview of their new musical. We'll be right that back. That would be nice. That's nice, right? We could do it. I, I, you could. But I mean